Good evening and thanks for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. New tonight, the chairman of the Arizona Republican Party quit today after a leaked audio recording revealed that he offered a job and money to Republican U.S. Senate candidate Carrie Lake last year if she took a break from politics. 12 News political journalist Bram Resnick has been following the story since it broke. And Bram, both sides are trading explosive claims in this one. That's right, Mark. Former Arizona Republican Party Chair Jeff DeWitt is accusing Carrie Lake of blackmail. She's accusing him of bribery. And their party is leaderless as its likely presidential nominee comes to town. Arizona Republican Party Chair Jeff DeWitt tried to make Carrie Lake an offer she couldn't refuse. There are very powerful people that want to keep you out. I the know what they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is. In a big way. Powerful people, DeWitt said, were offering money and a job to keep Lake out of the U.S. Senate race. That was about 10 months ago, March of 23. Lake would get into the race. He's got to resign. We can't have somebody who's corrupt and compromised running the Republican Party. That was Lake Tuesday night in New Hampshire, hours after a 10-minute audio recording of the conversation with DeWitt was posted online. DeWitt quit Wednesday and he tried to take Lake down with him in a two-page, single-spaced resignation letter. DeWitt claimed he was blackmailed. I was set up. I received an ultimatum from Lake's team. Resign today or face the release of a new, more damaging recording. And he planted this alarming thought. Her habit of secretly recording conversations is obviously a concern, given how much interaction she has with President Trump. Lake, a former TV news anchor, was wearing a wireless microphone during her conversation with DeWitt, apparently without his knowledge. Lake spokesmen deny that the campaign blackmailed or threatened DeWitt. Carrie Lake is an extremely ethical person who rejected Jeff DeWitt's multiple attempts to offer her money and corporate board seats in exchange for Carrie not running for public office. Now, all this comes as the likely Republican nominee for president, Donald Trump, heads to Phoenix Friday for a campaign rally sponsored by the Republican Party. And the party's annual meeting on Saturday, usually an election year pep rally, will be leaderless.